I'm recording another video today. It's Friday and I'm drinking whiskey. Today's video is going to be an updated skincare routine because I haven't done one since winter and people have been asking about it a little bit lately and my skin has been so good lately that I am just so happy about it. Like I can't tell you how happy I've been with my skin lately. Maybe it's the summertime. These are some products that I use on my face to help keep my face nice and moisturized and clear and breakout free and other things. Hmm. Jump cuts! So I will start with my night routine um, because it is the most extensive, not that it's that extensive to be totally honest. Depending on the day, I will use one of two cleansers. Uh, most days I will just use Bioderma, Sensibio, um, H2O, like, creoline fucking thing. The one for sensitive skin, the one from the French pharmacy brand. I recently found out that you can buy this stuff from Iwajamaya in Seattle in the International District, so... I will not be buying it online anymore because it's literally just at Iwajimaya. This is an awesome makeup remover and I use it all the time. Like, I, I've bought a lot of these, so. This is the one I use probably the most often. And then on other days, if I'm feeling really super dry, or if I'm taking a shower that night, I will use Ultra Bland, which is the um, rose water and beeswax and almond oil makeup remover cleanser thing. Um, it's really awesome and softening on the skin. Really great for blackheads. Um, this one I like to consider my deep cleanser and my face is really really sensitive to scrubs so I don't actually use any really sort of exfoliators. Maybe Dark Angels like once or twice a month um, but I just use the one that my sister has. But this I use on like a weekly basis uh, and I absolutely love it. It's really, really hydrating. Um, it makes my skin feel really, really smooth and clean and soft. Um, and like I said, it's amazing on blackheads. Like this whole nose area, this thing in a hot, wet washcloth, oh boy. These are seriously the best makeup removers and cleansers I've found for sensitive skin ever, okay, ever. And then after cleansing, uh, I always tone, which um, I use Aroma Water Toner Water. Uh, this is my second large bottle of it. I finally finished one. Um, this one was made by Susan. I got to meet Susan. Literally, it's rose and lavender tea that they cold brewed. Like, that's the way they make it. They like to still it down, and it's just, it's rose and lavender infused water. It reduces redness. It's really nice to keep in the fridge, you know, when it gets super hot out, like today, because it's like 90 degrees out. Uh, honestly, if you have a toner at home and it's hot out, keep it in the fridge because it feels extra cooling. And then moisturizers that I use all the time. Um, Celestial Facial Moisturizer. This has been a constant in all of my skincare videos in the last year and a half. Um, this one was made by Dill. This is the almond oil and almond milk and glycerin and cocoa butter and Dove Orchid Extract vanilla water awesomeness. It's not stimulating at all, it's just for soothing and moisturizing, so if you have skin that is reactive to anything besides, like, nuts, um, <laughs> check this one out because if you have a nut allergy, I apologize. I feel really bad for people who come in with nut allergies because we're like, oh shit, we use nuts in a lot of things. But anyway, Celestial is my go-to morning and night moisturizer just all over my face. It's awesome. So good. And then um, I still have some of my Skin Shangri-La that I've been using up as an eye cream because I don't want to let it sit around because it's expensive. It has more anti-aging properties than the Celestial, so it's a really nice one to use just around the eyes. And it's also quite a bit more um, oil heavy, so it's nice around like the super dry areas. Uh, sometimes I'll use it um, like around my nose if I have a cold, if I'm getting really like kind of flaky and crusty, um, if I have to like rub my nose a lot, this one's really great for that and uh, it smells really good too. It smells so nice. I love it. It smells like a feed store but like vanilla too? I don't know. And then at nighttime if I'm getting any sort of breakout or if I'm feeling extra oily, in places, uh, I will use Grease Lightning, which is our spot treatment. This is one with thyme and rosemary and tea tree and grape juice. And this one's just in a little gel formula. Yeah, just like that. Um, so you can either just pot it right on a blemish or like blend it out over a larger area. And then the last bit of extra thing that I do at nighttime every so often, only if I'm feeling like 
I'm having like crazy hormonal breakouts or if I have a sunburn, just like anything that my skin is just like, fuck you, everything sucks. I use Catastrophe Cosmetic Face Mask and this is one of the fresh face masks. Uh, this one is the blueberry and calamine and chamomile mask that soothes redness and helps with irritation. I really love it when I have a sunburn because it feels real nice. It does dry down and get kind of crusty, so like make sure to moisturize heavily afterwards because it can be a bit drying if you have drier skin. But um, I really, really like this one because it doesn't have any uh, exfoliant in it. Um, and the exfoliating masks tend to be a bit more intense on my skin because I am quite sensitive to scrubs. But everyone's skin is different, so certain people are sensitive to ingredients, certain people are sensitive to citrus, certain people are sensitive to lavender. I'm sensitive to scrubs. And then in the morning, really all I do is uh, Bioderma, a little bit on a cotton bud, cotton pad, cotton ball. Um, just kind of remove any sort of debris if I had any like mascara that like ran down. I remove my mascara, but there's always a little bit that just kind of like rubs off my eyes at night. I just use this in the morning, Tone, and then Celestial. And I don't use uh, Skin Shangri-La in the morning because it is quite oily and I don't need it in the morning. But yeah, like morning routine is literally those three things. <laughs> I'm really glad that I have found like a nice skincare routine that's actually like good for my skin and good for the environment and like not full of chemicals and silicones and shit that's not good for your face. It's a pretty quick and easy routine. Um, and uh, if you have skin that is dry, eczematic, easily reactive, um, uh, gets kind of flaky, I mean, honestly, in the summertime, I get a little bit oilier in the T-zone, but uh, that still doesn't feel super, super, like, heavy. And I like feeling hydration. So if you like feeling moisture on your face, these are really awesome products to try out because they definitely leave your skin feeling nice and, like, plump and hydrated. And even in the summertime, honestly, like, that, I use Celestial year-round and nothing's changed. Check out all of those products if you haven't gotten a chance. Um, Bioderma comes in several sizes. Uh, this is the 250 mil. Yeah. Um, it comes in a bigger one, a 500 mil, and then Aroma Water comes in a smaller one as well, which is only like 10 bucks. Ultra Blend comes in a smaller pot as well, but the moisturizers come in one size, but honestly they last you six months, so they're worth it. And then the face masks are only $6.95, so... <laughs> $6.95, you can't complain. Let me know if you have tried any of those products or what your favorite skincare products from Lush are because um, I always like hearing what works for people because it always gives me more ideas to help other people who come into the store that have tried other things and they can't figure anything out because it's kind of like a guessing game and a mystery because everybody's skin is different and one thing is not going to work for everyone. So let me know in the comments below what your skincare routine consists of. And today's song of the day is The Black Table by Milagres. I think that's how you say it. I discovered this band last night on Carson Daly's late night show. Um, my mom like yelled at me from her room. She's like, Abby, come watch Carson. There's this band on here. Have you heard of them? And I had never heard of them. Um, and they sound like a fucking soundtrack to a John Hughes movie. So what's not to love about that? It's really, really retro 80s reminiscent. I absolutely love it, um, and I'm really glad that I discovered their music because it's really summery and just like makes me think of <laughs> like Judd Nelson and Ali Sheedy and Molly Ringwald. So go check out that band, check out that song, and uh, I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be uh, an updated hair care routine because you guys have been asking for that too, and my hair is also awesome. So yeah, bye.